Okay, so we have our game over here working. It does a lot of cool things. We can dash, we can collect, we can count our collectibles. But now we want to save it out for someone else to play. So I want to show you how you can build your game out to the Windows platform, at least. And you can, you know, do more tutorials for other ones. But I want to add, add a caveat here is once we start getting into hardware specific things, then you may have issues that are just really hard to predict. So I'm going to show you the default way to do it. And if you come across errors, you're just going to have to troubleshoot those. But by default, it should work. And I'm going to show you a couple things along the way. You go to edit project settings. Early on, we set our maps and modes. I'm just going to double check these. Our sandbox should be the level that we have been building out of. If you made additional ones or a different one, you want to make sure that this is assigned appropriately. This is a startup map, which doesn't really matter. The one that does matter is our game default map. When we build out our, our executable and we run it, it's going to run from this map. So if you had a main menu, you'd probably want this to be the main menu. This is the first level that will open up once you run the game. So make sure that you have that one set. Another thing you may want to look at is your project description. This doesn't matter a whole ton, but you can customize the way that this looks in your library, or your uh, Unreal Editor library. You can change the thumbnails. You can add descriptions, you can change the name of your project, like roll a ball improved or something. You can give it a name. It just makes it build out with uh, the information all baked in. You can mess around with other things if you want. Just want to show you where it exists. One last thing I want to mention, because this is one of the most common problems, is character length whenever you're building out Unreal projects. If you had a lot of folders, like subfolders, subfolders, and then very long asset names, especially with materials, it could be like underscore another thing, underscore another thing, underscore another thing. And then you also keep your project inside of a file path that is, you know, very long, like say screenshots or something. This is already pretty long. And then you're, you start your project folder here and then it's embedded deep into content and then other things. This entire thing has a character length limit. If you get an error that is mentioning something about character length, I would recommend just trying to move everything like your build and maybe even your project too into a folder closer to the root of your hard drive. So instead of C, sometimes I'll make a folder called X. So if I click up here, see this is a very short file path. If you put your project in here and you're pretty good about not having giant names, then you should be fine on character length limit at least. So uh, that's my tip if you have an error uh, related to that, but just know about it because it will pop up at some point. Last thing, let's save it out. We're going to click on the platforms button. We're going to go down to Windows, and so that's what I'm working on. Um, you can put this on shipping if you want development. It doesn't really matter. In the end, you probably want shipping. Uh, mine's on development. So just pick whichever one you want and then click on package project. It gives me a pop up saying that I have additional SDK things that I need to install. This might cause issues. It might not. For me, it didn't. Um, but anytime you get a warning like this, it's at least good to look it up and see if there is an issue. It's probably related to the warning. I'm going to continue anyways. But if you get this, like for me, it's working. But for you, you may want to look up that. Hit continue. Um, like I said, I'm going to save this into the root just to make sure that there's no file naming problems. So, so mine is in C colon slash X, and I'm going to create a new folder in here called roll a ball improved. Okay. Inside of here, we'll select the folder and then it's going to package. It's going to do a lot of stuff. It'll probably take a bit just depending. So I'm going to pause here and then I'll continue once it's done. Okay, mine just finished. Uh, I just navigated to wherever you saved it to. And just to tell you, I have not tried to open this yet, so I hope it worked. Uh, but if you open up the location, you'll see whatever you named it and you open it up and it may give you a pop up like this. You know, say allow. And now we can roll around. We can roll our ball. We can pick up and it's all working. So other people should be able to play it at this point. Uh, we also did not build in an escape, so I need to Alt F4 and we can put that on our to-do list for later. So that's it. That's how you can build out your game and you can have other people play it.